This video introduces a particular way of searching for literature, systematic searching. A systematic literature search is the basis of systematic reviews. Non-systematic reviews attempt to answer a research question based on a few selected studies. This approach often doesn't take into account the entire evidence base. This can distort the conclusions of the review. The aim of a systematic search is therefore to find as many relevant studies as possible on a topic. Only in this way is an objective assessment of a research question possible. The process of systematic literature searches consists of four steps. They are intended to ensure that the search process is transparent and that all relevant studies are found when searching. These steps are the preparation, the database searches, the use of supplementary information sources, and the documentation of the search process. The prerequisite for a systematic search is a clearly defined research question. During the preparation of the question, preliminary research is necessary to clarify the extent of the topic and the probable evidence base. Based on the result of these searches, the systematic search is planned. This includes selecting information sources for the search, identifying suitable search items, and developing an initial search strategy. The search strategy is the major difference to a non-systematic search. Instead of coming up with search terms on the fly, appropriate search terms for the most important concepts of the research question are selected in advance. Then, they are linked to create a complex search query. Before the actual systematic search is performed, quality assurance measures are important. These aim to ensure that the search strategy has no logical, conceptual, or spelling errors. There are two important methods for this quality assurance. One, using test references to check whether the database search finds relevant studies that are already known from the preliminary search and two, the peer review, where the search strategy is evaluated by a second person. Good preparation is the basis for a successful systematic literature search. In this phase, the entire search process is planned, so it's important to spend enough time here. When all the preparation steps have been completed, the actual implementation of the systematic search can begin. Searching in bibliographic databases such as Medline, Embase, PsycInfo, Sinal, or Scopus is at the heart of the systematic search process. A comprehensive systematic search must be conducted in at least two bibliographic databases. The selection of databases depends on the research question. When researching healthcare topics, however, Medline should definitely be used. It is important that the database search strategies are transparent and reproducible. To create a good database search, so-called Boolean operators and subject headings are important. More information on these topics can be found in our other videos. Unfortunately, database searching alone is not sufficient. A systematic literature search also draws on supplementary information sources. The sources appropriate depend on the specific research question. Examples are screening of reference lists, searching in study registers, and contacting experts. There are several reasons to use such supplementary sources of information. On the one hand, to find additional document types. Articles from scientific journals can be found in bibliographic databases, but depending on the question, other types of text may also be relevant. For example, reports of institutions, master theses or dissertations, and study register entries. Searching supplementary sources can also compensate for weaknesses of the database searches. For example, if relevant articles were not found because a search strategy missed some items. In order for the search process to be comprehensible to others, it is important to document all search steps precisely. The following information has to be documented. The date 
or dates of the searches, all information sources used, and the exact database search strategies. This information also needs to be reported in a systematic review. The methods section includes a summary of the search process and at least one database search strategy is presented in the appendix. In this video, we talked about the elements of the systematic search process. Since the database search is a particularly important part of this method, we have more videos on this topic.